In five days, we mark the 22nd anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Today, a stark reminder of those attacks was delivered to the USS Silversize Museum in Muskegon for display. News 8's Joe Lafergie has the story on the goal of the exhibit and the people who made sure that it got to Muskegon. In a parking lot just off of I-96 in Walker, rain splashed down on the pavement members of the Patriot Guard riders waited for their latest escort assignment. I'm proud. I served in the United States Army. I'm, I'm proud to do this. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to have served. And for me, uh, rain or shine, we're going to be here and do it. Minutes later, a trailer arrived. Inside, protected from the weather, two pieces of heavy steel that 22 years ago were part of the structure that held together the 110-story North Tower of the World Trade Center. Our organization, American Legion, and others that are here today to do this escort all feel that patriotism, that recognition of those lives lost, and, and the democracy that we live in is all pretty important. With that, Patriot Guard riders with help from Michigan State Police and others began the 38-mile trip to Muskegon and the USS Silversides Museum, the caravan making their way west on a rain-soaked I-96. The sky began to clear as the exhibit arrived. Members of the Muskegon Fire Department, who lost 343 brother New York City firefighters on September 11, 2001, rolled the piece off the trailer. It'll be a focal point to our Patriot Day exhibit, which focuses on the response of our first responders from the September 11, 2001 attacks. The idea here reached the generations that came after 9-11. We want to, you know, invite children to come out, have parents have those tough conversations, but in a really meaningful way um, and in a, in a kid-friendly way. On loan from the Children's Museum in Oaklawn, Illinois, the We the People exhibit will focus not just on what happened, but the impact on our lives after 9-11. There are going to be tragedies in the next generations to come. How do we prepare them for that? How do we show them this is how we handled it? How are you going to handle it? And I think that's a really important conversation for us to start having. The exhibit will remain on display at the Silversides Museum until June of 2024. In Muskegon, Joel Fergie, News 8.